that? Crispy critters! They're most certainly crispy, Major. Shut up, Charles. No time for this. That thing? Up. This one's so happy. A robot stuck. <laughs> robot stuck. Ow. Music's getting intense right as I blew his freaking torso in half. That's funny. <clears throat> Ow, what the heck was that? <clears throat> Can't even scan it, dude. Oh man, that thing's fast. This. Hey. Ooh, do you think we can dive into the goop? I missed. <coughs> I'm stupid. I know you're here, Petrov. You've got nowhere to run. I'll give you ten seconds to surrender. Oh. According to biometric readings, this is Patrol. It is? No. Crispy critters. Shit. Petrov. It really is Petrov. Nah. I had a feeling it'd end this way. Wizard, this is P3. Come in. I don't think that's him, Wizard dude. Here. Have you found Petrov, my boy? I found his body. He's been decapitated. A loader turned his skull into blood pudding. Damn. His head contained codes I would have used to end this nightmare quickly. I'm sorry, Dr. Sechenov. That's not him, I know it. I was too late. <sighs> then we'll have to solve the problem another way. Did he have any rings on him? Two gold rings? Uh, no rings, sir. Just a candle. Understood. I need you to report to the VDNH at once, you three. We've got bigger problems than Petrov to deal with. What could be worse than Petrov? Stockhausen will debrief you at the VDNH. Hurry. Time is of the essence. Do I make myself clear, my boy? 10-4, wizard. Moving out. Yeah, I feel like that's not him, dude. In some way, that's not gonna be him. Listen to me, you brainless mutt. Yes, agent, this recording is for you. I can hear you banging around in the warehouse. You'll never take me live, so listen up. You have no idea what's going on here. <laughs> 
Who's the brainless mutt now, huh? <laughs> we have 117. Okay, I think we can get telekinesis. Uh, yes, we do. It allows you to grip enemies into air effect, lift them in the airship. Drop one here. Let me drop the other one over. Internal pet for power generator microclimate readings are suboptimal. Electricity generation not possible. The energy from the candles isn't sufficient to power the main gate. But installing them activated a system that provides special polymers to the birch tree life support system. The life support system has four primary functions. Maintaining optimal temperature, eliminating insects. In other words, four columns, four canisters. <laughs> I mean, he's sick of all the, uh, the puzzles. Let's see what this is. A solution to the problem smoke. Smoking related issues have been especially intense since the war. And Comrade Stalin just added fuel to the fire by making pipes look stylish. Now we've ended up with an unhealthy nationwide addiction. <laughs> I suggest introducing a special kind of tobacco to the market. Dynamo. It contains almost no nicotine and is completely free of harmful tar. Access granted. And most importantly, it gradually <sighs> introduces an aversion to smoking. It's cheap to make and can easily replace ordinary tobacco. We could help two thirds of Soviet smokers kick the habit in just five years. Oh, wow. They're trying to make tobacco free cigarettes. That would also cause you to not be addicted. That's kind of... <laughs> oh, what Holy the heck? Holy shit. Where did all these monsters come from? A mere hypothesis. But I suspect they're the bodies of dead soldiers that have been infected by sprouts. A fucking hypothesis? Are you shitting me? It's merely my own determination. Bro, is this the last this of us? This has never happened before. Charles, I'm in the hot shop. Am I going to turn into a crispy critter if I stay in here too long? No, the laboratory tables in the hot workshop or thermarium require high temperatures. But the temperature within the shop itself is quite comfortable. Into the fire, cool off boilers. Uh, the boilers look like they're about to blow. What the hell are we supposed to do? I have no data. I've never been here before. <sighs> okay. I'll deal with it. Uh, maybe if I do this? Of course that wouldn't work. The boiler's too hot to touch. I need to find a way to cool it off from the inside. <clears throat> I've seen that stuff before. It's cryogenic, right? Indeed, it is. That is a Fahrenheit, a candle filled with cryopolymer. It's designed to reduce temperatures and equalize pressure in high temperature furnaces. I'll try getting them into the boilers. How do I get into the pipe? Such a cool attack. Oh, hello. A lot of robots here. <laughs> what the boat? Sorry, pal, but I just need it more. You get it, right? You're a machine, so I need it more. What's your lot in life? Serve humans, right? Well, I used to serve folks too. I served in course, then I served in Berlin. I didn't do it just to get a fancy medal. I was fighting for equality. Okay, I found the opening. So everybody can have the same rights and responsibilities. So everybody could be like everybody else. Now. Uh, what do I do now? Lug this shit to the boiler myself? I just need to figure out how to put your damn thing on. And. It worked. Two more left. Gee, are you sure? 
Okay. Second one's all set. with all this shit. I'm sick to death of shoving balls into tubes. <laughs> so we can leave the Vavilov complex. Why can't I just, I don't know, walk out a regular door? I'm afraid, afraid only an irregular door is available. Because <laughs> hilarious. It's like I'm shoveling balls into tubes. Make him look like that. Why did they give him a mustache? Comrade Major. Yes. Got something constructive to say? Have I done something to offend you? Why are you taking your frustration out on me? <sighs> Sorry. It's not your fault. I'm just mad at myself. Why? You didn't kill Petrov. He was killed by his own weapon. A hostile robot. That doesn't matter. I was supposed to take him alive, and I failed. And that's not all. Sechenov saved my life. He's like a father to me. As far as I can remember, anyway, I let him down. How much of your life do you remember, Comrade Major? Uh, two years, maybe a little more. I can't remember much from before I got hurt, but as I said, he's like a father to me. If there's anything I'm sure about, it's that. Fair enough. But it's illogical to berate yourself for something that isn't your fault. Who cares if it's logical or not? Dr. Sechenov was counting on me, and I let him down. Now he's disappointed in me. Aww. And I feel like shit. If that's what's troubling you, just let it go. There's nothing unusual about your situation. What do you mean? Isn't it obvious? Comrade Sechenov is always disappointed in everyone. <laughs> There's no pleasing the man. His perfectionism is pathological, and everyone knows it. Every single person in his life lets him down. What? Nah, that's bullshit. Neuropolymer gloves are incapable of deception. Uh, yeah. I guess so. Hey, Heilich. I'm gonna go grab some lunch. You want anything? Feeding data. Ah, don't do me any favors. I marched all the way to Berlin in my day. I can make it to the cafeteria. Thank you very much. Oh, chill out. Just trying to help. No, the will be gone, and then I'll have to hear all about it. Yeah, go. What's the hot workshop used for? Heat-resistant polymers are made here. But most of the research is dedicated to the cultivation of heat-resistant flora. Nice. The polymers here are enriched with essential oils from Cacticae cereris, a cactus. The polymers make it possible to cultivate groups of plants that are adapted to high temperatures. Do they want to make the desert greener or something? Something like that. They plan to terraform Mars. Oh, I'll catch up to you. I'll probably get there first. Whatever. These people. What? I'm not a man anymore because I lost my leg? I don't need nobody to feed me. I can get there myself without their help. I don't want pity. I want respect, damn it. I'll be running laps around you yet. Mark my words. Let's freaker that or me ripping them apart. Oh, what the heck? Dead? Oh, I think, yep, yep, he's just glitched. Okay. Uh, 
You heard about the thing they grew in the germination department? I heard it's something between a Venus flytrap and a gigantic hemlock plant. What's that about? Who knows? Just a little genetic mishap, and now it's more like a carnivorous animal than a plant. <laughs> they even took a whole tank of PA-400 over there for it. They should have nipped the thing in the bud. They're gonna get themselves in trouble over there. They get everybody sure. killed. That should be fine if they keep spraying it. Be fine if they keep spraying it, and then, like, whatever the heck happened needed a killer monster. I hope we don't have to fight a giant plant. That would be... Oof. Freaking critters. This place just keeps getting more and more fucked up. I'm gonna, I will say, uh, the combat is actually really, really good. Really intuitive, and I kind of like it. We will not serve. Oh, that one has a, that one's head is on fire. What the heck? Oh, those explode! Okay, watch out for those. Algae Herbarium. I wasn't really a fan of the whole dodge mechanic, but I kind of like it. Like, it makes the combat more than just backing up. Because, like, let's be honest here, every game where you have, like, enemies that are running up to you, you always back up and shoot them. But this makes the combat a little bit more, like, refreshing, I guess you would say. I, I like that. Whoa, what was that? That's a giant ball. Whoa! It's like the thing from uh Incredi the Incredibles. Shit, that Hedgie's lost it. Fuck my Hedgie. This is usually a harmless geodesic geology robot. <laughs> that thing's a <gasps> That's a harmless geology robot? What other tricks does it have up its sleeve? I'm not sure. I don't have access to this model's data. I wish it didn't have access to us. I couldn't agree more, Comrade Major. Come on, let's go find that canister. At least we won't have to find the door to the shop. We can just climb through the window. Okay, we did got a couple upgrades. Fading data. Hopefully we can be more powerful, because I feel like we're gonna have to fight a boss. Could be wrong, but that big roly-poly thing is, uh... I think I've seen it in the trailers, and yeah, it's a boss. Ow! think the canister might be a device that dispenses the luminescent polymer is located on one of these platforms <sighs> let's go find it a new type of enemy engineer well, that one has a lot of stuff
Oh, it's stuck in the water. What is it? Weak against? Vulnerable to ice and shock. Okay. Another what? Oh, crap. Oh, wow. Those have a lot. They're tough, but they have a lot. What are you doing? Oh, he repaired it! What? <laughs> but it doesn't give me additional materials. Bruh. It's just gonna keep repairing the dang rope. Stop it! Where is it? Where are they coming from? It fixed it, bruh. What? How am I supposed to get rid of those things if they're infinitely spawning? Someone new to talk to, and a live one, too. New? Did someone else come here before me? Sure. See that dead body? That's Alexei, the technician. They've been having quite a conversation since they killed us. The thing is, <laughs> Chetty Corpse. Ago, the light sort of went out of him. He did manage to say something right at the end. But it was complete gibberish. What do you mean, went out? Was there anyone else? Was anyone else here? Look around. <laughs> There's plenty of victims. Not all of them were in a talkative mood. But take Ivan, for example. Ivan? He was an assistant professor. He took it for comrade Ulumbekov. He went silent this morning. I was about to. What do you mean, went out? Oh, I don't know. He kind of expired, so to speak. I think this must be all the vaccinations fault. Dead people being so ignorant. Interesting. Okay. So long. These canisters are used with polymer dispensers, comrade major. One could prove useful. Yeah, Algae that's workshop. Why I one. It looked awfully specific. <laughs> Oddly specific. Uh we'll finish off this section next episode. Because this might be, this looks like there might be a boss fight too because of that giant robot, but we'll see, we'll see. Really enjoying the game so far though. Really fun. So for now, thank you for watching. You're all fantastic. And I'll see you next episode.